What we're going to do now is we're going to look at the flat plate boundary layer. for a turbulent flow. Now, uh, Blasius solution came out in 1908 and uh, we could follow the technique that we we're looking at uh, in, in the previous segment where we had the Reynolds stress terms for the shear stress and we'd have to make approximations there and go through uh, a long analysis uh, with the boundary layer equations. However, a much simpler technique is to use von Karman's momentum integral technique, uh, which was developed later in the 1920s, but it provided kind of a, a quick and uh, clean way of, of doing some of these calculations, although it's an approximation, it's going to be an approximation no matter what, be it uh, using boundary layer equations with turbulence or using his integral techniques. So that's what we're going to do. And in doing this, we're going to use some relationships that we've seen earlier in the course, uh, mainly the velocity profile in the overlap region that Millikan proposed. And this is something that we looked at when we looked at internal viscous flows for pipe flow. So uh, what we are going to do, we're going to use von Karman's momentum integral technique to be able to come up with expressions for uh, the thickness and for the skin friction. Uh, and that will be the approach we take for the boundary layer equations for a turbulent flow. So uh, we're going to begin with by going back to the overlap region velocity profile that Millikan proposed. And this became uh, one of the things that we used when we were doing pressure drop inside of pipes. And if you recall the discussion when we were looking at pipe flow, we said that uh, the turbulent shear flow theory could apply to either internal or external flow and so here we're using it for an external flow and using the relationship that M Millikan proposed he had a number of empirical constants he had a friction velocity and then a transform coordinate that was called y plus I won't get into those here however the friction velocity u star was defined as being the wall shear stress divided by the density uh, raised to the power one half and this is friction velocity and the constants uh, people debate them uh, but we'll use those for now uh, and this will get you part way. I'm not going to go through the derivation, but this will take you part way. And then, then what happened was Parental actually came up with a suggestion for, for proceeding through this analysis. And, and he suggested a mean velocity profile for the turbulent boundary layer. And so we'll also use that. And it was a power law relationship that Prantl proposed. So if you have U0 being your outer flow field, he said that it could be approximated as Y being the wall normal coordinate divided by the boundary layer thickness at that point. 
raised to the power 1 7th. And so this is sometimes called the 1 7th power law. And it is attributed to Ludwig Prandtl. So coupling that with Millikan's overlap region, uh, again, I'm going to skip over all the details, but the main results that came out of this were an expression for the boundary layer thickness. and the friction coefficient. And finally, just like when we looked at the flat plate, there was an approximation between the friction coefficient evaluated at the end of the plate and the drag coefficient, and an approximation for a turbulent flat plate is at 7 sixth of the value at x equals L. And so those are relations that you can use. The last thing that I want to say about this is that there are plots that exist that are very much like the Moody diagram. Uh, if you recall, we looked at the Moody diagram for pipe flow. But what these plots have is the friction drag coefficient. plotted as a function of Reynolds number, and then we'll have a curve for laminar. Now, unlike the Moody diagram, it's not always plotted log-log. Sometimes it's uh, log-linear. But we have the laminar curve. We'll have a smooth uh, pipe, or sorry, smooth uh, plate curve. And then you can have wall roughness in your plate, and that is quantified by epsilon over L, where L is the length of the plate. And just like with the Moody diagram, we'll have these increased curves that uh, at a certain Reynolds number, they become asymptotically flat. And so that's something that you can look up in tables, but this would be data for a rough plate. And that enables you to calculate a drag on flat plates that are not smooth, uh, turbulent, and, and with different amounts of roughness. So that is the turbulent boundary layer uh, estimates of the boundary layer thickness, as well as the friction coefficient or the drag coefficient on those uh, flat plates.